everybody and welcome back to the channel and another Sims 4 speed build video. Today we are doing the Spring Sims July build challenge. So yeah, it, this build is on the gallery if you want to download it. And yeah, I tried to do something a little different with it when we come to the styling. But I tried to keep it, you know, close to the original. I don't know if my proportions are quite right. I think it may be a little big. But... It works out alright. It's a nice size family home. What I don't like about this game... I know I have lots of things. What I really don't like... Or how the pillars work. Why can't they go on the edge? <laughs> Why do they have to stick over the edge? Nothing bugs me more than having pillars that are not like lined up correctly and you can't seem to fix it. Like they stick over the roof. Why why do they do that? Why can't they just like fit in nicely? Anyway, I decided we'd go for something I know, because I thought those pillars made it look kind of modern, but not like kind of mid century modern instead of like real modern. So that was kind of the thing we went for. Like, cause we used some of the stone. Yeah, I thought it made it look a little bit interesting. And a little bit different. And that's why we go for big windows and everything like that. And I actually really like how it turns out. And I even like the garden and everything like this one. I wish we had a bit more like 70s and 60s furniture because I think that would be really quite cool to have like to be able to do houses with different areas and stuff. What this game needs is just more furniture really but I want some proper different styles. I was thinking of adding in windows up there, but you know, it just it just looked rude. <laughs> so yeah, I did try it a few times. So I kinda of really wanted it. But yeah. No. Rude looking windows that I where I thought they were like a no-go, really. I tried to keep the windows quite as like realistic as I could. Well, as close as I could to the build, but I also wanted to add in a few in places where they weren't. So, like, I wanted another one on that side because it, it just looked a little odd without it. So, yeah. Windows. One of those things. Oh yeah, we're moving on to getting a garden done. I can't quite remember how we do this. I think it ends up having these bushes out, which I've been doing like with every build recently, but I really like how it looks. So we add in plenty of these. It just hides the foundation a little bit better and that line that's in the house, because that bugs me. It really does. And I know it probably shouldn't, but it bugs me. I can't help it. <laughs> you know, when you think you're getting the closest match you can with the paint, but it still doesn't quite match. Oh, it's just, there's nothing worse. <laughs> but there we go. Sometimes you don't get what you want. 
adding in a nice garden over here. It's a little, it's, you know, a bit overgrown, but I like that. Because this is probably quite an old house, really, when you think about it. So it's going to have a little bit of an overgrown garden. So that's what we were aiming for, really. And I really like how it looked. And we do another bit over this way as well. And that, that tree was just a little bit big, and that one's even bigger, you know. So many big trees. I wish we had a few smaller trees, like these. Because you don't always have massive trees near your house, because that's not always like the safest thing to do. <laughs> but there we go. You can't always have everything you want. But I really like how they add a bit of privacy to the house, even though it has huge windows. It has these trees covering up those big windows. We have a nice outside area as well that we fence up with this fence because I thought this fence matched the house pretty well. I thought that was pretty cool. The outside ends up being quite basic. It has a nice pool. Not a massive pool, but it's a pool nonetheless. And it has a little bit of a vent in because but why not? And we stick with putting the little hedges around the outside like we did with the last ones. Well, like we did around the house. And that'll be, that's it really for the garden. It has like a chair and stuff in there, and a barbecue and all that kind of stuff when we actually furnish the house. But for now, that is the garden. I totally forgot to put in the bedroom to begin with. And this little bit for the um, kitchen. But there we go. So it ends up having a nice wooden floor throughout the house. So one of those nice basketball floors so it's shiny. Because I love shiny floors. And the kitchen. The kitchen ends up being pretty basic. But I like it. The whole house is very clean and modern, basically. Was the idea. And I kind of wanted to mess around with the layout a little bit to make it, I don't know, make it feel a little less cramped in that corner. But no can do. I already spent too much time building the rest of the house, so we're just leaving it how it is. It has quite a nice big living room. But there we go. And, you know, the kitchen's quite small. I was tempted to add an island in, but instead we just have the dining room table. And it's not too bad because it has a little utility space. Which, you know, when we get the eco deco stuff out with the laundry and it can be used as a laundry room which you know I'm not going to say much about I've already said my piece about that so yeah I really like how this is working out and even though white seems, is like the main colour throughout this build there's plenty of other things to draw your eye in and everything like that. A bit of colour here and there, but it's mostly white with a few different textures and stuff like that, you know? I thought we'd make good use of this big window and have a little easel there so you can paint and everything like that. And then the kitchen ends up being, yeah, we actually put some stuff in the utility section. And a little bit of clutter here and there. Not too much, just enough. 
Yeah, a few finishing touches here and there. Yeah, it's a practical looking kitchen. There's a little space for your computer. Yeah, and I just, I was trying to think about putting something there, but I can't, really there's no space, so I was trying for no reason, basically. So yeah, but we're just adding in some clutter here and there, because it was looking a little bit plain and empty. But there we go. I really like the colours of this painting, I think it really matches the aesthetic we're going for, really, in this room. I have a couple more of these flowers, but they really like them. I, lo I love the shape of them. And they add a nice little bit of colour here and there. I just a little painting corner as well, you know, make it look like it's actually used. And we're just putting in a couple more, we basically use lots of the same picture, <laughs> just to with lots of different colours. Because it has so many recolours, it makes sense to use it. And we're just sticking in all the furniture we need for this one and then I realised oh yeah I wanted to put a wardrobe in so we have a wardrobe in there in the end we have that nice rug because I think that rug makes a lot of sense it's white, it's fluffy, it adds texture to the build and everything like that And then in the bathroom we have another one of those wardrobes and then we have the bath, the toilet and we have a big like unit thing over here with the two sinks on and I get rid of that window because I'm like actually we don't need it I'll just have the big mirror because the big mirror acts it reflects the light and everything so it should act like a window really and make this room feel bigger There we go. So this, that was basically the inside of the house. I'm doing a little bit to the outside now. You know, so the Sims have got somewhere to enjoy their lovely outside section of the house. And I don't forget a mailbox or a bin this time in the actual build. It's not one of those things I realise in the screenshots. Anyway, we're in the screenshots now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this speed build. If you have, please give this video a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.